Hello everybody and welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. We are currently sitting on the future steps to our log home. Right, last November we went out and cut a couple of hemlocks thinking that they would be the ridge beams for our log home. Mm -hmm. um, as things progressed, we decided to go a different direction with that and it all worked out just fine. But we still had these two hemlock uh, trees that we'd harvested and had them out in the woods. So now as we move forward in building our home, uh, one of the things that we needed to do was to, was to have our stairs into the upper uh, lofts. Yes, and we wanted them to look really unique to match in with the large tree that we have right. holding up the current ridge beam, which is made from our pine trees instead of the hemlocks. Right. And so our builders suggested we might look at hemlock for actually the steps that have a better tread life, you know, the little uh, more durable wood, and uh, certainly have a lot of unique character to them. And so we went back to the ones we'd harvested that we still had laying out in the woods and uh, and decided we were going to, uh, to mill them up. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so this video is going to talk about the use of a, an Alaskan mill and how we uh, learned for the first time how to use a, an Alaskan mill and the, the challenges that came along with that. Yeah. Typical uh, Anderson adventure. Mm -hmm. um, Long but, learning curve, uh, <clears throat> but finally learned. <laughs> I would say a frustrating learning curve. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh, but now we've got it down, uh, down pretty well, I think. Yeah. And uh, we figured it out, as always, because we're Candersons. Yes, always figured it out. And we figured it out, and we got it. We got it done. And now we're we're um, sawing up some beautiful steps that yes. um, we'll we'll show in the video. Nice and thick and sturdy, and they're going to look amazing in the log cabin. Yeah. So enjoy the video on our adventures with learning how to use an Alaskan sawmill, and uh, and the beginning, the very first step that we created. So what he wanted was the big end to be downhill. So he is going to turn her around, back her in the other way. As you can tell right now, they are moving big block over the bigger block. Obviously. See, look at the big strong people moving the black. Big strong black. To support the big strong beam. That's not very equal. But okay. Cabela! <laughs> big strong man. Move big strong block. <laughs> This is our first attempt at putting in an Alaskan mill, putting it together. <clears throat> and uh, it's so far not been, not been a wonderful, wonderfully <laughs> easy experience. Hammer, please. <laughs> oh, so the rail is on just to get the first cut. <clears throat> so then you have a nice slab that's level. And we can then take the Alaskan mill. That's actually the Alaskan mill there on the ground. So we put the saw on that and we'll cut one slab off and then we'll come back, we'll take the rail off. And then the rest of the cuts, you just use the saw and the rail, the uh, Alaskan mill portion. But this is to help you get the first cut nice and smooth. So the reason we're doing this is we want to have steps for our cabin <clears throat> and we're gonna make them three inches thick. We're gonna cut them 48 inches wide and they're gonna be 10 inches deep. And then he can, 
trim them up, shorten them up if he needs to, and then we may cut one side, the back side off. So we'll have a live edge on the front for each of our stairs going up. Okay. So we need 15. But again, never have ever used a mill like this. So we are learning as we go. And these little dog things here are just to hold it, hold the rail from slipping as we come down. So what we want is this to be nice and even all the way across. <clears throat> There's somewhere I thought I saw them. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So. It's gonna get smaller. Yeah. So I think we gotta start here. Okay. I'm gonna tighten. And then we can see what. Then we'll drop the other side down. That other way. Unless you have lock washers, it's just going to vibrate loose again. So far, we're finding that the vibration takes all of the tightness out of the bolts. And then also Chuck is not cutting deep enough to get past those stabilizers. This is a very frustrating situation here. did it yeah that's called never quit <laughs> never give Even up no my team quit on me a bunch of times <laughs> we didn't quit we're still here we yeah, just by force by <laughs> yeah believe me i think there'd be we'd rather be doing something else than this right now <laughs> i think anybody would but check that out fabulous work babe those are going to be some awesome steps wow so cool now now it should be pretty easy, huh? The next cut, hopefully. That's the hardest cut. Yeah, that was definitely the hardest cut with that metal thing. Okay. Nice. I need a bigger saw. You, do you do need a bigger saw. What? That's where we came back. Yeah. And right there. Oh, Gabe's and being right critical. There, right there. That's what the planer will be for, Gabers. Yep. How many hours did it take for us to get that little section Just cut? Two hours. Two hours? <laughs> You look very sad. Would you, as a 17 year old boy, rather be doing something else? Yeah. Like hanging out with your girlfriend? Yeah. Well, you get to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's your designated hangout day. Today no, is your. She's going to come over here and we're going to do more of this. That's true. That's... <laughs> well, so well, hopefully, we'll get this done today. Yeah, it's not happening. No. It was two hours to get that top thing. Well, that was the hardest part, and we had to put it together and get all the tools and everything necessary to do so. So the rest should be easy. Let's knock on some wood, shall we? So we are cutting three-inch thick steps. So the log is just a little bit too wide for the saw longer blade but what we're gonna do is just trim off the edges so let me see how much needs to actually come off i mean like a teeny tiny yeah. amount so it's get like the bark, bark off, yeah it'll be fine yeah
the street. Step number one. Ooh, this would be cool. So today was one of those days where everybody was grumpy, <laughs> everything went wrong, and I'm not sure which caused which. But at the end of the day, we made some progress. We've had more issues from chainsaws, brand new saw, doesn't want to run, hard starting, my, my backup saw wouldn't start at all. Um, the mill, uh, the, on the mill itself, all the um, something, washers and bolts came loose because they're not anti-vibe and the vibration just rattled them loose. So we had it tight, but it came loose. The design of the mill is fine. I think it works. We hit, but, but we, did, we didn't set our depth deep enough the first run. So I saw it right into my, the little dog that goes into the wood. And then I hit one of the adjustment screws. So my saw chain is very dull. Oh, yeah, but the sad. good news is we got the first log and mm -hmm. yep. take a look at that one. We got the first one. Yeah, and that's gonna step. be fantastic. These will be amazing steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will uh, be really cool. So I think they're gonna look really cool. So at the end of the day, I think we'll be able to tell nice, nice stories once the memories <laughs> fade. Kind of like, uh, the negative memories. Like birth, Good work for today, babe. For the day. I'm impressed with your ability to not give up, especially it's when your saw would not start. I was. It is stubborn. That's part of the Canderson attitude. <laughs> but I'm not stubborn. Oh right. I'm not. Okay. Okay. It's gonna clean it up. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody, clean up. We hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, and coming up is a little bit more on the stair process. We uh, chose a couple smaller trees that will become the railing for the loft and for the set of stairs going down. Um, and then we also had Christian and Haley in town a little ways back, and they helped us cut out even more of these steps. So all that will be coming up for you to enjoy and see. We appreciate you as always and hope that you all have a fabulous day wherever you are and whatever time of day it is that you're watching. We just appreciate you so much. Take care. Bye.